Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. So we have a new book. This one I think is gonna be interesting. Um, so this is called Bad Apple, A Tale of Friendship by Edward Hemingway. So this one is about an apple and maybe his new friend, a worm. Hmm, maybe we should go read this one together. So come on, let's go read. Bad Apple, A Tale of Friendship by Edward Hemingway. Mac was a good apple. He shared his toys with other apples, helped Granny Smith pick up after our class and loved to dive fearlessly into the watering hole. On a sunny day, Mac could bob for hours. On cloudy days, Mac would search for the perfect pillow of green grass and take a long nap. In his dreams, it was always sunny, but one day as Mac lay sleeping, it began to rain. Soon, all the little creatures in the earth around him poked their heads out to look for higher ground. Some of them found safety under the large toadstools. Others crawled onto stones and pebbles. But one small worm had another idea. When Mac woke up, he was covered in raindrops and he wasn't alone. You won't believe the dream I just had. A funny little worm was tickling me right here. And now I can't seem to get him. Out of your head. It was you. And that's how Mac met Will. Will showed Mac how to fly a kite, fly himself and play in the dirt. He loved making a mess. Mac took his new friend to the watering hole to clean off. He couldn't remember a better day. Until he took Will to the orchard. Look at Mac, he's got worms. Mac's a rotten apple. I'm not rotten. I'm cute, sweet, actually. So they left. Will cheered Mac up by reading aloud from some of his favorite novels. He was a bit of a bookworm. Mac liked the adventure stories best. He also liked it when Will finished his sentences for him. The most exciting part is when the pirates find treasure in the dirt. But the next day it happened again. Ha ha, it's the bad apple. Ew, worms. And no one in the orchard would play with them, not even the crab apples. Bad apple, crab apples can be so mean. That night, the two friends sat alone on the grass without saying a word. In the morning, Will was nowhere to be found. You are a good apple from Will. Mac went back to playing with his orchard friends, diving fiercely into the watering hole and painting in Granny Smith's class, but nothing was the same. There was a hole in Mac that he couldn't fill. Not a big hole, just a tiny, tiny little, you know, a small hole just big enough to fit. And nobody finished his sentences. Mac had to find Will. He searched low and high and in between. 
in the dirt, around the watering hole, and just when he had given up all hope, he looked up in the sky. Mac knew he'd rather be a bad apple with Will than a sad apple without him. I was hoping I could help me turn the pages. How did you know? Because you will always be a good apple in my book. Good and happy. And there's nothing bad about that. The end. Hi everyone, thank you for coming back after that great and cute book. So how did you like the story of an unlikely friendship between an apple and a worm? How did you like the fact that they stayed friends and stood up to the bullies and not let them make fun of them anymore just because they liked each other? And a worm and an apple shouldn't really like each other, right? But in this book, they talked about how it didn't matter that they were opposites and it did not matter that they should not like each other because they did and that is great i love the fact that they did not let the bullies get to them they did not let the happiness go away because the bullies were mean they stood up to them and they stayed together because that's what made them happy and that's what's important to do is what makes you happy even if some bullies don't like it or don't understand it so now that we've read our cute book and we have our creative ideas in mind, let's go create together. Hi everyone, thank you for coming for creative time. So that book was so adorable about the little red apple, right? I think it was a great story and I wanna use that inspiration to create some great art today. So I thought we would do this great little piece. This is basically like stamping. So I'm picking the colors from the book, a red apple, yellow apple, green apple, a dark red apple, kind of mixing them here and there. But I thought this would be really fun to do with your kids and um, let them just have fun with all the paints. So this is based on the book that we just got done reading, The Bad Apple. This was cute. I like the little worm too. So I hope you enjoyed that book that I chose for this week. And I hope that you like this activity, so let's get started. Okay, so I have an apple here that I had cut in half. Um, I had already used it for some um, sample stenciling and stamping. That's why it's red and doesn't look like a normal apple would look. I have a paintbrush to smear my colors on. I have a paper towel if I need it. I have an extra piece of paper here in case if I need to set the apple on. Um, or put underneath my work paper so that I can run some stamping off the edges. These are the colors that I chose for this activity. And then I went ahead and covered my um, black artboard with this brown paper to protect the board. And I'll remove that um, at the end so you can see the picture. All right, so let's begin. So I think I'm gonna start off with the lighter color this time. I'm going to start off with the yellow, shake it up a little bit. I'm going to pour some directly on the apple. I chose this piece of the apple instead of the other one because um, I really like the stem. And I'm actually going to try to make sure that when I um, stamp that I get um, the stamp, the, the um, stem in the stamping also. So I'm just quickly doing this. You can have your um, child do this with their fingers if you want and just spread it around. I made sure that I got that um, stem also. And I'm just gonna do a couple spots. Push down the stem for a second. And then lift up. I think I wanna do another one up here in the corner. I push down the stem a little bit. Each time you do it, it's not gonna be perfect. Some is gonna be just a little bit of paint and some are gonna be more. 
So then I think I'm going to go to my next color of red and I'm just going to add it right to the yellow. And the reason is that it will pick up some of that color too and it will help make the um, colors not so flat. It will actually mix them a little bit which is pretty. This is definitely for your children who love paint and to get dirty because <laughs> you definitely get a little paint all over as you can see. Um, my hands. So this is a bright red apple so I want to maybe put this one in the middle so that it that's our focus apple of the book. So I'm just pressing it down lightly. That came out cute. So I want to do one off the corner here. So I'm going to take this extra piece of paper and I'm going to slide it under my artwork so that I can um, run some stencils off the corner and as you see it goes on to um, the extra paper. Okay, so I'm going to take that out real quick and you can see it. I think that's cute. So now I'm going to do the green. It's a little um, fall right now, which I love fall. It's a great time of year. And the apples are the best in the fall. So I have some green. And you can use the other piece of the apple too. I just, like I said, I just chose this one because I liked the stem. But you can use both. Uh, a parent can use one and the child can use the other. It's all up to you. There's no perfectness. So how about we do this one this way on top of that one a little bit. And I like having them overlap a little bit because it's nice to have the different colors mix. Ooh, look at that one. And I think I want to add some green up into this corner. So I'm going to go ahead and put my extra piece of paper back on here so that I can get some on this side. And feel free to move your apple around. It doesn't always have to be a straight apple. It can be on an angle. It can even be upside down if you want. Not cool. All right, so one more color. This is pretty. I chose this deep red, like a deep red apple, and I'm gonna add it on top here. This is a fun little quick activity for kids. Hey, I'm not a kid, and I love doing this kind of stuff. So I think the parents would really enjoy this too. And it's really inexpensive. Just use paint colors that you have around the house. You don't even have to use fall colors. Um, and uh, an apple. And if you don't have an apple, feel free to use an orange or um, a lime or a lemon. Okay, so I'm gonna actually do this one totally upside down. Fill that space right there with this darker color. Look how great that looks. I think I want to add just a little of that deep dark color over here. So I'm going to turn my paper, just trying to keep the workspace a little cleaner. And I'm going to add just a hint of the apple on the edge there. <laughs> hey, maybe this will get your kids to eat some more apples, right? How cute that cute that is. Okay. So let me move everything so you can see this completed. I'm just gonna move my apple and my paint off the board. I'm going to use my leave this paper off. Okay, so that is our finished piece. Once this dry, dries, definitely make sure that your little artist signs it. Um, feel free to put their um, date and their birthday, maybe their age on the back so you have a great keepsake to keep at home. This would also look great in a frame with a matted board. Um, you can even put really creative words on this if you wanted to. But I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to leave this how it is because I think this is really pretty. I love the stem work. I think that was a great idea. 
all this stem and the blending of these colors came out really nice. So thank you for joining me today. Please, please, please like, follow, and definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel, my Facebook, and my Instagram. I love the support and feel free to read the book and do the art project right after or do one or the other on different days. It's all up to you. I broke it up so that you didn't have to do everything at once. Thank you for joining me. I'm so glad that you came today. Remember, art is not perfect. It's about having fun and doing the best that you can do. Bye.